Am I filming? All right, for, oh, pop up. I oh. told my friends that I had a mishap. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. So my nail, um, my nail friend lady, <laughs> Hobby's laugh. Hobby, why are you embarrassed of me? <laughs> um, I was just taking a selfie with Hubby. I said, oh babe, I look kind of good today. We should take a selfie. <laughs> Every day, babe. You know how we feel about our faces sometimes. But um, my, um, I broke my nail. I said it on the Sensi video that I'm gonna upload tonight. Um, during our trip to Disney, and my nail lady is not gonna be in until tomorrow, so I'll just wait for her because she's my friend. I like her. She knows what I like. Um, and now we're gonna go to H Mart. I wanna make something sabaw, uh, Filipino sabaw. Um, uh, hubby wants sinigang, which is our Filipino sour soup. Um, and he wants it with shrimp because Danielle's not here. When Danielle's here, I can't really cook anything seafood. She's allergic to... Um, anything to eat that comes out of the ocean but also sometimes when i fry fish even just inhaling it um she gets allergic oh it's my neighbor oh i bought um at disneyland i i bought my little neighbor um like a star wars toy um <clears throat> so i wanted to make sure that the girls go over and deliver it oh my gosh it was so windy today that my plant pots turned over oh okay well hubby is he, um, he has to wash down the car because the sap from the tree is always going onto the car. So while he does that, I'm going to water my little garden area. Talk with you guys. So how are you, my friends? I know sometimes I, I want to vlog, so I am in a better habit of like the vlogging, but it's just that upload. So sometimes my work consumes me, and so I really try to do the uploads on my day off. The hubby is using the broom. On the hood of this truck let me show you guys look at what hubby's doing he's things. grooming yeah. <laughs> he's grooming it i'm not grooming it i said grooming it yeah this tree down. he wants to cut all the tree down i kind of look good in the sunlight there are times when you guys see my vlogs and i'm like oh my god look at that face but like today I'm gonna take advantage of it and look at all the angles that I can possibly show you guys because I'm vlogging and you know what? I can be all about myself sometimes. So right now I feel good. Wow, face doesn't feel so fat. My last vlog with Danny, oh my goodness, she had me at such an angle. I go, Danny, it's all about the angles. I mean, look at this. If I if I have this as an angle with you guys, come on. Look at that. The wind beneath my wings. I'm just joking. I'm kind of bored I've been I've been with the kids at Disneyland for like four days and now I'm just bored at home today so I missed you guys you guys know how much I miss you but uh, we're gonna go to H Mart just do that uh, tomorrow I'm gonna step out with hubby to do my nails he's gonna get a massage while I get my nails and then oh we're gonna go to our um, poke place but that's like North Seattle and I don't like it's weekdays. I don't like to drive in um, downtown traffic He still hasn't even gotten the hose out to wash it down. So you still have me my friends ooh, ooh. Should I? There hello friends Hello, oh enjoying that breeze <laughs> Just joking Sorry I don't know. I feel like kind of free spirited right now because I have no kids to my side. I have no one, like no kids, yanking on me or trying to get my attention. Oh, babe! I'm getting the mist! All right, I'll move up here. The water mist was coming to me. Nice angle! Oh my God. Ooh. I know! I love it! So I went to the dentist last week and I asked them, I go, well, what kind of products do you recommend to um, whiten, whiten my teeth? Because I feel like my teeth are not white at all. But then I get like some comments on my videos, like your teeth is so white, like sometimes it's too white. So I think it's just the lighting to tell you the truth. Okay, and I don't know how people can vlog for so long because my 
I don't have good arm muscle. I need to work out. I have issues working out. It's so hard and boring. Whew. Now, if they make out, a, if they make like a workout center, like a gym that has like a sit down to do the bike, and then it has a like cafe latte to order, and maybe smoothie or boba, oh my gosh, I'd be there all day. Little snack. Don't mind me. I'm like on a happy high because no kids are around me. <sighs> so it feels so good. All you single people out there, or all you women that have your, um, what do you call this? Not Agnes. What do you call that when the children are out and then the parents are just home? Um, Easter nest, no. Agnes, what do you call that when the parent, when the kids have gone off to college? Yes. What? Empty nest. Empty nest. Okay, you empty nesters out there and empty, oh, nesters. empty nesters and all the women that don't, that decided not to have kids. I envy you sometimes. Oh, most times. Oh, my God. Are you ready? Um, okay, but what about my plants? Okay. Okay, so I traded my $3 glasses for my $5 one. What's that? An alarm? Okay, so I didn't do a video. I, okay, we got into an accident. I didn't tell you guys. I think I made, I may have said something on a vlog, but I decided not to post that vlog. Yes. So hold on. It's the street that where I got hit, like literally where that trash can is. Right here, a big rig. A UPS a one trailer big rig was pulling out of that road and made a sharp turn and then ran into me onto my my um what do you call that front left quarter panel okay <laughs> into my lane that's what I was thinking but yes oh. exactly how um, hubby had said so my car is now totaled and I I'm missing my car I'm not even in the mood to like shop for a new car because I work from home we have this truck and then we have the kids car um I, so there's always a vehicle for me to use really it's just i don't i don't know i'm just not into shopping these days babe like i don't i don't go to um i don't go shop for clothes like there are times when i'll go in and okay i need new jeans so i'll go to target and get jeans i like target and old navy for jeans and then um Nothing at Joanne's or Michael's like I used to for home decor. I just, I, babe, I'm finally done with home decor. <laughs> really? I just don't want anything else. I think it's because I'm old now. Like, I really feel my age, babe. I'm like 50. You are not. <laughs> I always say I am. <laughs> I always tell you guys I'm 50. I feel 50. I'm close enough to 50. Let's just put it that way, okay? Because if I say 50... <laughs> this is what I tell him. Mean, if I say 50, which is a little bit higher than my actual age, then people can be like, dang, girl, you're 50? Shoot, mama, you look hot for a 50-year-old. They'll be like, thanks. <laughs> but then if I say my actual age, people can say, what? Really? Oh, man, you old. <laughs> so I know. It's how I get attention for myself, and sometimes we need those kind of attentions. But no, you almost ran her over. I did not run her over. She would have got off her phone and paid attention. She... I knew he was going to say that. But um, no, I'm close enough to 50. Let's just say, like my birthday, I'm, I always, I used to tell people my birthday was, I was 29. Let's Watch see. out for my $3 glasses. Sorry. Uh, 29. And then Jonathan got to be a smart ass and said, Mom, you cannot be 29 because if you're 29, that makes me... They were too smart. And then Danny started doing it and then it wasn't fun anymore. So now I just say I'm older. Like, oh, I'm 50. And they just go with it. And then their friend's like, gosh, your mom be looking hot for a 50, 60 year old. Shoot. After a few years from now, I'm going to say I'm 60. <laughs> They're going to be like, dang, Jacob, you married an older woman, but she be hot <laughs> for a 60-year-old. <laughs> Anywho, I'm just feeling high with no kids around me. I love it. I love it. So we took the, I told the hubby we need to go to, um, 
We need to go to Hawaii. When are we gonna go, babe? Um, we planned for what, June? We planned June, didn't work out because there was just so many things that was happening with the kids' schedule. Now I have some time off in August. We're planning for that. Is it gonna happen? No, I don't think so. I hope so. Even if we just go for like a weekend and a day, like, you know, three days just for hubby and I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to go over there for a few days. I can't go over there for just one day. Two days, the minimum. So we'll plan. Until then, wishful thinking. We can't leave Danica. Well, I can't leave Danica. I even told Danica today, you're gonna stay with Lola. And she's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want you to go, hubby. <laughs> I just worry. I don't want her to cry too much. She'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be a blip in her memory and she'll never remember it. Hmm. Yeah. We're hoping August. Okay. Uh quick run at Costco. This is the this is the, the cheese. The cheese of all gods. This is the cheese. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. This is the only cheese I will truly eat. <coughs> and then hubby has to have his um sugary drinks but it's the no sugar zero calorie one for his keto zero got, calorie zero carbs got this for the kids um raspberries is on sale or a good price got the cherries and then this one we always like the santa fe i like to buy the salmon here because then i'll cut this into four pieces marinate it already and then freeze it we wanted to try this one out seven dollars for this one on a special they don't normally carry this one but cilantro lime crema and then um, making some dung and having one shrimp and then also going to grill it for our um, like salads after this one. After we eat that one then pre-packaged salads. And I think that's it. Anything else that we're going to get here at Costco? I don't know. Mac and cheese cups. <laughs> mac and cheese. For Danny loves her mac and cheese. Even the, well Danica is starting to like the mac and cheese now too. Mm. So. Ooh, fried pickles with ranch. Do you think this is good? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hubby, we tried not to buy the the cheese. Oh, what's this one, babe? Korean barbecue pork jerky. This is actually good. Um, my coworker Trevor brought this at the work, and it was pretty. It's pretty good. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we'll skip on it. I want to. Okay. I do like the beef jerky that I bought at Walmart though to take to Disneyland. I gotta, it was in the red packaging. Ooh, on, it was on sale. I know, but we don't need that anymore. The Vietnamese pho. No, oh, I know, but we don't, for five bucks. Danny loves that stuff. Really? Yeah, she does. Okay, well you can always get yeah. one. I still eat them. Yeah, for five bucks. I mean, when we're, they're hungry for lunch, better than, um, Getting Jack in a Box and all that. What's this? grams of carbs. 43? Per bowl, 43. <laughs> That's bad. Now he's very cautiously aware of his uh, grams of carbs. carbs. <laughs> my carb intake. He's doing so good. I think you lost like 15 pounds, huh, babe? Uh, something like that. You're going to get the bowl? Okay, well, we just added it onto our hall over there. Well, into our Costco hall. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? That would be it. Oh, what about this? You know what they have here? Oh, they're out. They used to have the um, the Japanese uh, Japanese mayonnaise. Mm. It was here the last time I was here. Let's go take a look. Maybe it's on the next aisle. Costco. This is all we shop. I only shop at Costco, Commissary, and Trader Joe's. But they had... Oh, here it is. I love this. Hey, if I'm gonna make, um, you want me to make honey walnut shrimp? Cause we have that. Mm -hmm. And then it's best to use the Japanese mayo. Yeah. Sure. Okay, exactly. I think we're done. Okay. Mark it because look, look at all the pretty bright colors. This is a Korean golden melon. Um, oh, we know that's a kiwi, but this one's a mango steam. Um, donut peach and they have um, this is lychee I made the lychee ice cream this one is the gold nugget mandarin look how ugly it is but it's so sweet got jackfruit 
And this is rambutan. And peppers. Look at the melons. Kami Kiss Melon. Never had it. And red grapefruit, pomegranate. All these colors. Love it. Love all these colors. <laughs> this is where I get all my veggies. I love bitter melon. Mm. It's an acquired taste, but it's very, very healthy for you. Bitter melon and um, guayabano are very healthy. Um, cancer, it's said to fight off cancer. And let's see. Uh, it's all these greens. <laughs> okay, so we went to H Mart, and the only things I buy at the H Mart are my veggies. I bought the opal apple uh, for my wine and cheese. I got some onions, some baby bok choy, tomato in here, and then in here um, I get like my mix for like the sinigang mix. Um, I got that one for nilaga, which is what the, the same meat that they use for making pho. That's why pho is so flavorful, but I'm going to use it for nilaga. And then I've got my green beans, my Anaheim peppers. Got this one for Jonathan, this one for Danica, this one for Danny. They're sweet drinks. I got chamote. Is it chamote? I forgot what it's called for my... I'm making uh, mungo um, and then tinola with my ginger and then bitter melon for my mungo. Yeah, so three days meal. And then, of course, my rice, I buy the Jasmine Rice Dynasty brand. I usually get it at the commissary for about, I think, $15. It used to be $13. They raised it to $15. And over here, it's $25. So that's why I tried to get it at the commissary. But I did not want to make the trip over there. So, yeah. So, this and then hubby and I are just going to do one more stop. And then I'm going to go home. And I think we're going to have the Sinigang tonight. So hubby's favorite food is what? Filipino food. Sinigang. He loves his sinigang. And I'm excited. Huh? I'm excited. He's excited and especially with shrimp because Danielle's not here. Yes. <laughs> He's like, Danielle's not here. Let's have shrimp Let's have sinigang. Shrimp. Sorry, Danielle. <laughs> All right. One more errand. Our, um, apparently our Xbox controller is... Uh... Oh, no more stops. I just oh. bought it. Oh, you bought it where? Amazon? Amazon. It'll come tomorrow. Oh, okay. 22 bucks. <laughs> Oh, okay Amazon okay and then remember in California yesterday was so hot this is our weather here today um, cold gloomy not too cold because I don't even have a jacket but been like this all day gloomy no Sun which we love <laughs> I love this the, the Sun is just too bright in California sometimes. miss the Sun <laughs> we miss the Sun sometimes but when it's like that blazingly hot and you're walking around Disneyland just not fun I miss the Sun <laughs> he likes it though <laughs> All right, so hubby was saying that he bought what'd you buy kimchi some kimchi mm -hmm. where did you get it qfc qfc which is our grocery store i thought he bought it somewhere special he was talking about it at the um, asian market and it just dawned on me i was watching my favorite asian um youtuber i don't even watch her channel i just watch the pop-up that comes on facebook whenever i'm on facebook is um is it su kong longest i think she's um i think she's korean and then married to a um military american and she makes uh videos recipe videos of it's very popular i'm sure everybody knows um her channel but i i think i've i don't really watch her talk or watch her youtube channel it's just whatever pops up on facebook and then i watch it with no sound so i just watch the process of her see like right now my teeth is white um i just watch the process of her cooking <laughs> i have you think somewhere hobby thinks i have a uh what do you call that a the um, attention span ADHD I did not I was not even thinking oh. that <laughs> I'm just teasing you know like I um not ADHD ADD mm -hmm. just ADD oh just like when I remember something I just say it out loud like oh a squirrel yeah. <laughs> no but I don't say that um because earlier I was telling you guys that sometimes my teeth is white but I was asking my dentist if I if I should get teeth whitening and he said no you don't need it your teeth is so white and I'm like really I don't think so 
but some of you guys think so. But um, no, where was I? Kimchi. Oh, kimchi. Okay, so I was watching her video a few days ago, and um, it popped up of a uh, kimchi bacon fried rice. Oh, should we go to KFC and get bacon? Or do you think kimchi fried rice is gonna taste as good? I no idea how kimchi fried rice would. Even I taste. I don't either, but apparently it's a popular fried rice. It's very popular. Where? Um, at the restaurant where you can order kimchi fried rice. But I want to try to make it. So all she did was just fry up some bacon within that bacon fat. She didn't drain it. She added the chopped kimchi and then she just added the rice. And then she added uh, sesame oil a little bit on afterwards, like to drizzle on top. And then um, like I think green onion and then the fried eggs. I don't want that and I'm craving that. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. You have work tomorrow? I do. I'm off for another day. So tomorrow I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to edit for you guys. I'm going to fix my room. I'm going to fix my office. It's a little bit of a mess. I did. I just did a video. And then um, we're going to take Danica to her eye appointment for her glasses. She wears those glasses uh, when she um, watches like videos or tablet um, screen time. And so we just want to make sure it's her one year appointment for it. And then um, that's about it. Oh, I want to make this um, dessert that um, the vendor, I showed you guys on the video, my last vlog video. Maybe after watching this one, maybe two vlogs ago. Because I still have to upload the one that we went to Disneyland. That's going to take about two uploads because it was a pretty long um, two day trip video. And then we're back. Um, Hubby. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm beat. Yeah, we're pretty tired. And we didn't do anything today. No cleanup. Um, every week we get a little bit of the yard because he chopped off a bunch of um, branches. And we we haven't taken it to the, the dump. Is that what we call it? Yes. The yard waste management system. Um, so we just put it into our trash bin. Our... Um, our our green tree and what do you call that our waste our, our, our yard waste pen. yard waste but it's a process so this is like what the third week or fourth week uh, it's like the fourth I, or the fifth i think one more week we should be done with it and gotten all oh, that yeah. out um which would be nice yeah because it's been in the backyard it's just a lot of work our house is a lot of work friends and we're so tired like homeownership like this is why we kind of enjoy california like kind of miss out on california california has newer homes and over here it's um i don't know what hubby calls it we he calls our city i don't know if it's the right term but he calls it what do you call it old money uh -oh. he calls it old money because it's a it's an older town where microsoft and boeing um employees kind of migrated to and that's older <laughs> yeah, it's like there's not a land in what there's not okay in washington where we used to live i mean in california where we used to live we still saw like for sale some like builders um building new homes so there were still open space over here there's not much open space to build brand new communities it's just like little pop-ups here and there and then so when you have communities like ours um you just tend to just fix up the house because it's already um established established a community and it's a sought after community and it's nice and quiet it's good for the you know kids of the school district isolated and that's what we picked out isolated <laughs> and with that is like um limited on homes when we were purchasing but um and then this the homes in washington that's different than in california california tends to be 2400 square feet in california is a norm when I was doing real estate, it's a it's a normal size, um, right in the middle. It's not too big, not too small, just right. But over here, twenty four hundred square feet is like big. It's huge, and 
it's hard to find that especially in a in the community that we chose to live in because a lot of the homes here are 1900 square feet i cannot live in a 1900 square feet that's what i was thinking when i was um with the, with the kids because we have have our space but now you know got a college student another one on the way um yeah um i, I can live in a 1900 square Are you going feet going to qfc no i'll just skip on the bacon I'll try the fried rice, um, kimchi fried rice without the bacon. The bacon, I think, just added some goodness to it. And I'm not going to make it today anyways. Yeah. Well, bacon makes everything wonderful. So. It does. I think it, it would be keto friendly. Yeah. <laughs> heart unfriendly. <laughs> keto friendly, heart unfriendly. Yeah. But um, Hubby's doing pretty good with his keto. I think he lost about 15 pounds. No, oh, vacation, I, I gained two. Yeah. Gotta lose it again. So that turkey leg over at Disneyland, I didn't film it, but Danica ate so much of that. She had, I go, are you done? She's like, no, no. She said, which it was nice, because that was like the only really like meaty thing that she was eating the whole entire trip. It's just a very picky eater. But yeah, she loved that turkey uh, turkey leg. Every time we go to Disneyland, we always have to get a turkey leg. And then the girl, um, Danielle, likes the chimichanga. All right, I'm gonna go home, um, do some gro um, un undo groceries, un not unpack. What do you call that? Put it back, put it into the fridge and the pantry, and then cook my sinigang. Unpack. Mahalo, friends. And what? Unpack. Unpack groceries. That's, that doesn't make sense. Put away groceries. Put away groceries. Bye.